I have a story for you today. This story is about a miracle. Do you know what a miracle is? Is it magic? No, magic has a trick behind it. You might not see the trick, but it's not real. And if you see magic in your stories or movies, that's just make-believe. God did something that was impossible to make people's lives better, to heal them, to bring them comfort. So it was something impossible, but with God, all things are possible. This miracle is one of my favorites. It was written about in all four of the Gospels. We can read about it in the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So let's get started. Jesus and the disciples were coming home. They had been to the villages. They had healed many people of their diseases. And for those whose minds were sick, they gave them freedom and peace. They taught the people about the ways of the kingdom of God. Jesus was doing so many amazing things and saying so many wonderful things that people followed him everywhere. The crowds grew larger and larger and he and the disciples felt they had no time for themselves. They were tired and so Jesus said, let's go to a quiet place where we can rest. But the crowds of people followed Jesus and his disciples everywhere they went. And Jesus looked at the people and he had compassion for them. He felt they seemed like sheep who needed a shepherd. So instead of sending them away, he healed those who were sick and he taught them the ways of the kingdom of God So when evening came, the disciples said to Jesus, Lord, it's getting late. Send the people back to the villages so they can buy their food. But Jesus said, you feed them. But then Philip said, but Lord, there are more than 5,000 people here, 5,000 men plus women and children. We would have to work for more than half a year to have enough money to feed all these people. Where will we find that much money for that food? And Jesus said, well, what do you have? And Philip said, all we have is five loaves and two fish. And Jesus told the disciples, Tell all of the people to sit down and divide them into groups of 50 or 100 each. And then Jesus took the loaf of bread and he blessed it. And he broke it. And he told the disciples to distribute it. And they did.
and there was enough bread for everyone to eat. And then Jesus took the fish and blessed them also. And suddenly there was enough fish to feed everyone. And the disciples distributed that also. There was so much food that everybody ate until they were full. And then the disciples collected 12 baskets of the leftovers. It was a miracle. The people said, we know now that Jesus is the Christ. And they wanted to make him king. But Jesus knew it wasn't his time. And so he slipped away into the night. Now I wonder, I wonder what the disciples thought when Jesus told them to feed the 5,000 people. And I wonder, why did Jesus do this miracle? He could have just sent the people back to the villages to get their food. And I wonder, how do you think the disciples felt when they were part of this miracle? when they saw the five loaves of bread and the two fish become enough to feed over 5,000 people. And I wonder, why did the crowds want to make Jesus their king? And I wonder, why do you think Jesus slipped away into the night? 